Fred Dibner, MBE, was born April 28, 1938 in Bolton. He lived his life first as a talented master steeplejack, then moved on to being a famous television personality, following documentaries made on his work with chimneys and his passion for steam. Fred lived in 121 Radcliffe Road for over 40 years, building sheds and workshops to house his projects. Name's Leon Powell, isn't it? I do everything. I do the admin, do the paperwork, uh, do general maintenance. Um, I'm not a skilled engineer, so you know, if I need to do something in that way, if I can't do it myself, I'll, I'll get some help. Um, but General Dog's Body, you could say, really. I just happened to see this place hadn't been sold. I came along and had a look at it, um, and thought, oh, that's interesting, I can do, you know, do something with this. I wasn't sure what. Um, but I saw it was somewhere to live initially. And then of course when, we, when, when I got to see all this, um, that's when we decided to turn to a museum. Um, but uh, when my wife first came to see the place, um, after I bought it, after we bought it, she hadn't even seen it. She signed up ha not having seen it. And uh, she came along and the first words she uttered was, uh, this is going to take some doing. <laughs> and it did. <laughs> <laughs> I've tried to keep it as original as possible, as if Fred was still here. And, and when we do a guided tour, um, some of your older viewers, you, you won't remember this, but some of your older viewers might remember Bill and Ben, the flowerpot men. Um, and when the gardener had gone out for his lunch, Bill and Ben played around the garden, you know, and then he came back. Well, it's a bit like that, you know, I try and give the impression that Fred nipped out for a pint, as he quite often did. Um, and uh, we're having a quick look round while he's out. At the time it was on its side, with the struts in the air and the wheel there, so he erected it, but he couldn't dig the mine shaft because he was on his own. I'm Noel, by the way, a volunteer dead at Fred Dimner's Heritage Centre. And I've been here, for, well, must be five and a half years now. Um, DIY, I look after the garden, and any, any other jobs, you know, that require doing. But, like I said, the main thing is we're keeping it open, what Fred wished, you know, for, and it's, it's still going, and that's what we're all, we're all happy about. I've put my heart and soul into this for the last five years um, and probably worked hard the last five years I've worked in my life and I've always been a grafter I'm trying to um, uh, uh, organise a campaign so we can put the place into a trust which we already have set up so it's protected for the future then You might have to cut a bit <laughs> I get a bit emotional. Um, no, it's all, no, 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 it's okay. Uh, I love it. I just love the place, you know. Um, and I just want to see it survive, I suppose. It was his dream for the place to be a heritage centre. That's what he talked about for years, you know. But that's why he dug the mine shaft, basically, because he wanted it to be part of the heritage centre. So when people came along, they saw some movement here. Um, so if nothing else, we've made Fred's dream come true in turning it into a heritage centre and um, yeah, I, I just love the place. <laughs>